Hello, today we're going to go over how to add a PayPal button to your WordPress website um, without having to use any HTML embed codes or anything like that. They can get kind of tricky when you want to still actually be able to use um, your visual editor. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarket tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence, putting the fast thing success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. You can also subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel or just um, subscribe to our weekly newsletter, which basically just sends out a notification about a new tutorial that we've added. All right, so with that, we'll get started. Um, we are going to need to download a plugin in order to be able to do this. So why don't we go to um, our plugins right here, hit add new. All right, and now in this area, you're going to want to search um, nice PayPal plugin, <laughs> nice PayPal button light. Um, I've also put a, um, a link in the description uh, of this video where you can download this directly if you if you need to do it that way. That's fine. Just activate that plugin. The next thing you're going to do is go down to settings um, and click on nice PayPal button light. Zoom out. I already have mine in here. Test stack compete now up is, but in this section you want to put either your mer merchant account ID or you want to put your actual PayPal email address um, so that you get paid. All right, you can ignore this PayPal test mode. Um, we'll ign we'll ignore that for the sake of the tutorial. Um, going down, going down. U.S. dollars, if that's right for you, it's right for me. U.S. English uh, language. To pick your language. We're gonna st stick with um, U.S. Button size. We'll leave it on large for now. And target window. So if somebody clicks on the PayPal button, it's usually preferred that they open into a new window. So I've selected um, open in a new window, as you can see here. Once you do that, you're gonna update your settings, and now you're ready to start adding the short codes. To add the short codes, to access the short codes, you're gonna need to refer to the um, plugins website so or details so what you're gonna do is you can go to plugins and let's see you can either go to what you want to do is go to the same page you would have viewed when you were getting the plugin that's this right here in the plugin directly directory I also put a link to this in the description if you don't don't have it anymore this just makes it easier to get the short code. All right, so let's go to the page that we want to add this to. Let's say I'll add it to my um, about page. Okay, I'll edit my page. Get this out of here. And what you want to do is put that short code in. So switch back to the plugin page. Go down. All right, take this short code right here. This is just for the buy now button, and paste it in here. I pasted it in the text area. You can do visual, but you want to paste it as plain text so nothing gets caught up. All right, so name, mug, I'll say um, test product. Can't type. And 1250 is a good price. We'll hit update. Now let's view the page. Okay, so now that we're viewing the page, you can see the Buy Now button right here. Click on that. It opens to a new window, just like we had talked about. And it, you see that it is going to the right place, test.competenow.biz. Um, that's the only difference. Back in those settings, if you want this to say your company name, you're going to want to put in your merchant account ID number, and then it will say your company name and instead of the email address it's being sent to. All right, so everything seems connected fine. They can pay with a PayPal account, or they can pay with... Um, regular credit card, which is great. Okay, so the, this button, I don't think it's too big, but let's see what the size is. Um, at, well, as you can see, there's no title. So if we go to edit, let's cover that real quick. So there's no title for the button, so you're going to need to put it on. So even though you said test product here, you're going to want to put that above the short code also. So if you look at what I'm doing here, I'll say test product one. That seems like a lot of space below it. Let me try to get that. This is more just the theme thing, so I won't fuss around with it too much if I can't get it right now. Okay. Let's 
just leave that. <laughs> so now let's go back here and view the page. All right, so you, now I have test product one, and now you can tell, unless I make this text bigger, this button is a little bit big. So let's go to our dashboard again. Go back to the settings for the plugin, as we did before. Scroll down. Okay, and now where you can see here, you have default button size. I'm at making that small and updating. Okay. Now when we go back to that page that has the button, you can see that the button is much is smaller now, a little bit more appropriate for the size this is. You can still click on buy now and get it. So that's it. There is a premium version of this plugin available if you do love the buy now buttons, but you need some more additions like subscriptions and different wording than buy now, maybe donate. Um, the premium version is available for about $14. So, you know, not, not exactly going to break the bank with that. So it could be worth a shot if you're really going to be using these buttons a lot all over the site. It's another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and e-marketing tutorials that give you the keys to web presence, putting you the fast success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com.